cyangwa ni fomu turkumvikana nibu zingu hari cyo mbitsi wanje menya ngo wikoreye amakara ni tubimenya bizakora iki bizakubera ikibazo ariko nibu gifite cyangwa hari umuntu uzugifite genda kwande ubuyobozi bwanyu ubuyobozi bwanyu dore nubu turkumvikana ha muturage wemerewe kujya kureba umusirikare umusirikare akazi ke no guhangana n'umwanzi turkumvikana keretse mubonye amakuru wenda ngo hari yaduyi ushatse kwinjira mu aka karere ndabaherezi nimero zo muzajya muhamagara ora ngiye ndi hano uyu munsi ejo ntabwo nzaba ndi hano nuba ngo nge mvuye hano nturutse mabenga nejo ubundi nari ndi ngwenda za kinyandonyi turkumvikana ubwa mweze hano ariko ndi kugenda ntabwo njewe ndi hano turkumvikana ariko hari abayobozi bari hano umuyobozi wa mbere mugomba kujya muri ubaha ni nyumba kumi wanyu turkumvikana niba katanya amacyangwa farjet yajya gayima gaciro nyumba kumi kwebwe wacu umuyobozi wa mbere tuzi ni nyumba kumi M23 banned FDLL bases accusing FRDC of forcibly taking people to camps. Through a statement released by the group on Wednesday, November 16, 2022, M23 policy department spokesman Rorins Kanyuka says that the forces of this group continue to work to protect the people from the attacks of FRDC army aligned with the rebel groups FDLL, Maimainya, Tular, ACPLs, and many other Maimai groups. This statement goes on to emphasize that the people living in the areas where the FRDC is fleeing and taking them away captivity where they were gathered in the Nya in the Kanyal Chinya camp in a bad life and where they were brought out in peace. Hampton 3 confirms that in the fighting that took place today, Wednesday, they managed to completely take control of the areas Kibumba, Luhunda, Buhumba, Kage, Kagemba, Tongo and Mulindi. For many years controlled by the FDLL in the area of Tongo and Mulindi. At the end of this announcement, Kanuka emphasized that they are always ready for peace talks that will bring them together and the government of Kinshasa as long as it is maintained, it is aimed at...